Sarah from the Painted Sisters and I'm here today going to show you how to use air dry clay and iron orchid design molds to decorate a flower pot. This is the air dry clay. It comes like this. I've used a little bit out. Um, you have to keep it once you've used it sealed up really, really well. When you get it out, you're just going to pull out a hunk, how much ever you think you'll need. Keep your bag sealed up. You'll work it just like this. And as you see, I have my mold laying down here. I think I'm just going to do um, one of these, maybe the crown. I don't know. We'll see. First thing you're going to do with your mold, these are silicone, I think silicone molds. And Iron Orchid has this tiny little, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's called a micro rim right there. Works really, really good for you to get your clay out of your mold easily. That's a patent I think that they, only they have. First thing you're gonna do is take a little bit of cornstarch and just dust your mold with the cornstarch lightly. You're gonna work your clay like this and then you're just gonna put it in your mold and start pushing down. You see, I got a little bit much, but you're gonna start pushing against that, that rim on the outside. You can use um, a spackle, um, what are those things called? You know, that they use for spackling. Um, I don't know, anyway, what I'm using is this Iron Orchid design. This comes with the transfers, but I found it works really good. And I'm just gonna put it down on, on there and slide it across that micro rim. Just do like that. Then to get it out, you flip your mold over. You're gonna push down like this and you'll see it pop out. And you just grab it. And you can see there's your mold. Okay, and to get it on your flower pot, I use this Type Bond Quick and Thick multi-surface glue. It seems to dry really quick. It's kind of thick and a little bit yucky. I usually just use my finger. And you want to make sure you get it over on the edges really well. This is my flower pot, which I've done nothing to yet. Okay, so I'm gonna put it down right here and I'm just gonna put my mold on where I want it. Just put it down. You don't wanna push too hard, you'll mess your design up, but you do wanna make sure you get your edges down good. Prop that there and we'll do another one. Um, let's see. Move this up just a little bit. Let's see if we can do part of this. See, I'm just working it together. Roll it kind of out and just put it in here and just start spreading it down. You want the back of the mold to be kind of flat so it glues down very well. Just turn it over again. People do this without putting the cornstarch in. I, it's a little difficult to me to do it without the cornstarch.
Sometimes when the, you leave these to dry overnight, they will crack, but um, that's kind of that old world look that you get, um, kind of French country, the crack is. You can, after you, if you don't like the crack, I like the crack, I just fill it in with the dark wax. But if you don't like the crack, then you can just go back and put a little bit more of the clay in and let it dry and it'll be fine. You can see right there, that's probably gonna crack where I came loose just a little bit. Slide around, all right. To keep, that, to keep this on here, I just take some um, painter's tape because it will slide. basically just kind of taping on there. It doesn't take it long to dry, so you can come back in an hour or so. I dry enough that it won't slide. Okay, so I made a couple ahead of time so I could show you how to wax. This is same kind of pot and it's been painted with DIY paint and I just um, this is one of those instances where you don't need to put paint on in any way. You can just kind of slap it on there any random way because I want some texture right here for the wax to get. Clear wax acts as a barrier if you're going to use dark wax or any other kind of wax. That way kind of you can kind of go back and erase that you don't get so much because it grabs whatever kind of wax first. But this is clear wax and I'm just taking my brush and just working it down in there. And you can see how well the molds stick with the, after they've been glued. The paint will change colors and darken, just like if you're waxing on a piece of furniture until it dries out. And so it's easy to tell where you've been and where you haven't been with the wax. Okay, now I'm gonna take, this is DIY white wax. And I'm gonna take it and just really put it in here and work it in so that you can see the, I've got this stuff all over me, but see how it fills in, in the crevices and in the uh, cracks of the, your different molds to show the detail. I'm just using a, a, a t-shirt rag that you're going to just start going back and just rubbing your pot like that. So all the high spots, you'll see the gray or the black. And the low spots, will, the white wax will get in them instead. Now if you get an area that you have too much white wax and you don't like it, you can put a little bit of clear wax on top of it. And it'll act like a, an eraser and take it off. I like that look though. You see on here, see right there where I have the different um, areas of, I've just gone and put the paint on any, just any which way. And I've got a pot over here. I'll show you how I painted it in just a second. Okay, you see the pot, how it goes. And see right in here how it's left the white wax looks very old, like it's been around for a really long time. And you can do this on, I've got a picture frames I've done. I've gotten mirrors at the doll, at um, the Goodwill for nothing, 50 cents or so, and just painted them and put the moles on them. And then you use the different waxes. You could have painted this in like white and have done the same exact way I did this only with dark wax, and then it would show up with the dark in the crevices. This is another little pot that I just painted, and you can see where the moles are glued on. And um, I'll show you how I just painted it. So you're gonna just go, and you're just gonna tamp that paint in there anyhow. Just get it in. If it's thick in places, it's good. And you'll miss some. I usually have to do a couple coats to make sure I have all the t 
terracotta covered up and it really doesn't matter if you don't want it all covered up, it's fine. You can actually, once you've put a mold on and it's, the glue has dried enough that the mold's not moving, then you can go ahead and very easily paint it even when it's not dry if you want to. Um, and then let it sit overnight and dry with the paint on it. You can't really wax because you have to put some pressure on it, but you can paint it. So once again, here's the finished product on the gray. I'll post pictures a little bit later. Thanks, bye.